Hi, I'm Jared Brown, Australian expat financial planner based here in Singapore. Thank you for checking out my video today. What I'd like to share with you in today's video is a bit of an insight into what's happening on the ground with COVID-19. We're about 18 months in now, so if you're in Australia at the moment, considering becoming an expat in Singapore, then I hope that today's content gives you a bit of an insight into what life is actually like here. So first things first, let's have a look at what the current situation is. We're sitting at about an 82% full vaccination rate with 85% of the population having already had one dose. So Singapore's done a fantastic job at rolling out the vaccinations and we expect that that will continue. The adoption has been very strong. We've had mandatory mask wearing from early 2020. So to be honest, we're pretty well at a stage now where it feels a bit naked to actually leave the house without your mask. So very different to Western Australia. We've only had a few days throughout this whole pandemic of wearing a mask. Obviously a bit of a different experience, but here, something we've all become a bit accustomed to. Working from home has become the new norm, which has brought about mixed feelings depending on who you ask. And those expat families with kids, many of them well and truly over it. Homeschooling, no possibility to travel, living in a small condo, a small unit, life can obviously be a bit challenging. We've got outbreaks here, but very few people are in the ICU. We're sitting today at about 30 to 34 people in the ICU and 80 people so far have passed away in total. So in the grand scheme of things, while we hope that no one passes away from this, still a very low number. So what happens from this point on in Singapore? Where do we go next? Is it more restrictions? Is it lifting of lockdown? More lockdown measures in place? Naturally, no one has a crystal ball, but we certainly hope that a lot of these restrictions will be behind us. Many expats hope to be traveling soon. Many are already taking advantage of the green lanes to travel to places like Germany and hopefully to get away for Christmas. However, there are still many, many families, many, many Australian expats who are hoping to get back, back home to Australia for Christmas or before, who unfortunately have either had flights canceled or they've just not been, been able to get on flights at all at any sort of reasonable price. So we're certainly hopeful that more and more green lanes will emerge as vaccination rates improve, particularly, uh, particularly throughout Europe, who are now starting to, to treat this as an endemic, then we'd certainly expect more and more travel opportunities to open up and more and more abilities to actually get out of Singapore and enjoy the, the travel hub that it actually is. So I hope that this gives you a bit of an insight on to, into life on the ground in Singapore. What is life like with COVID-19 here? If you have any questions at all or any of your own experiences you'd like to share, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Likewise, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There'll be plenty more updates to come. And if you have anything to add, please do feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for tuning in.